So basically, uh, I'm just will be much more explaining on how to do uh, the translation in Ubuntu. Uh, because right now it's already, I think, uh, Ajay, correct me wrong, but it's, it's, it's already, uh, it, uh, it's already freeze for updates for the latest one, latest one right? right now. So it's already been, uh, so as you may know, uh, Ubuntu is it, it, it's rolling between uh, April and October. So that's why if you heard about the version number, uh, right now is, right now we are in year two, 2024. So it's 2404. Uh, so if you don't know, uh, I'm just explaining first. So that is how uh, the uh, version be rolling. So each version, they will be releasing uh, updates, whether in uh, applications, in security, and also in language. So I'm much more focused in, in, in language part. Uh, so without further ado, uh, you guys not must be wonder. Right, wait. So let me try. No. So maybe you guys wonder who am I? Who uh, is who is this fellow? Uh, talking talking nonsense. So I am, my name is Shazwan, so basically I'm a system administrator back in Malaysia. I'm much more do system consulting. Um, so yeah, this is uh, one of my old photo that I worked uh, when I was uh, in doing system administrator. So that's my service. Uh, so I'm all, uh, so this is my background. Okay, my back on the ground. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so basically, I'm just doing hacking stuff, nothing much. Uh, and I can say most, most of my activities are, are doing Ubuntu, either on computers, uh, ARM. Uh, I think ARM is not really my kind of like uh, uh, expertise, uh, but I do play some Raspberry Pi, some IoT, sort of like that. And yeah, I think this is some of my uh, what I'm doing since 2009. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't want to read. You can, you can just read it. Uh, you can just, uh, read along. Uh, so yeah, um, I just only end at 2022 because I don't know what I'm doing on in 2023. So don't ask me what I'm doing, uh, last year. Probably I'm sleeping. Okay. So one of the project that I am, uh, I'm involved in translating is, one is this, uh, the Ubuntu menu, uh, the Ubuntu menu project. This is back in version, I can't remember. I think this is, yeah. You can see on top there, 10 or 4. So that's version. Is it? Oh, okay. So it, that, that one, what, 2010, 2010? So that's the last, I think that's the, I think the last that we done collaboratively around the world. So this Ubuntu manual, actually, I, I, I just want to explain what was the, what's the, the uh, what we do uh, in this project. We just do a manual for Ubuntu, yeah. How to use Ubuntu, how to do this or to do that. But we also, uh, I'm, I'm collaborate, collaborating, uh, this project, uh, for translating in Malay. So just as how to, I mean, we can do this, uh, this project is basically, uh, as the same, uh, platform that what, what we are doing, uh, with this project. So probably was, uh, probably the reason why people ask, uh, people, uh, people, uh, people uh Kindly asking me, no, kindly, eh? kindly, not arguing me. Kindly asking me because I'm a nice guy. Okay, so they uh, they ask me why to translate. Yes, the big question mark. Why? Okay, so basically this is uh what can I share my uh, study case uh, study. I'm not I'm not the acad academia, but I do study some case, uh, not police case. Uh, you can go to uh, uh mobile position, not here. Uh, so basically, the reason, uh, uh, mainly, we want to get uh, technology, not just IT, but technology to be more common to people. Because uh, back in my time, uh, probably, uh, I'm, I'm not that old, sorry, sorry to say that, I'm not that old, I'm just, I'm just passing uh, 34 this year, so I'm not that old, but back in the days, uh, technology is much more accessible to people who are understand English. So that's probably the main, I can say main, uh, uh, roadblock for people who want to do technology. So, uh, in, particularly in IT, 
as you guys know, most of the programming language is in, in English. Uh, you, 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 you rarely find any CI, uh, any, any uh, programming do in Urdu or do in YS language. It might, be, it might be English. If, then, else. There's no other language. There's must, if, then, else. It's an English word. So, if you want to know technology, you have to know, you have to know English. Not, 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 not must know uh, accent English, but some English. So, uh, that's the hard part because people are not really speaking in the same language. Like, uh, once I been learn, uh, okay, so uh, to to uh, to give some example in uh, I'm I, okay basically I'm from Malaysia. If you guys don't know, uh, that's why I'm look so uh, Asian. Uh, so uh, I'm from Malaysia. So we are basically for people who didn't even come to Malaysia, they thought our language are more similar sounded with Indonesian, but we are kind same same different. Uh, for example. Uh, uh, we when when we are looking for petrol uh, in Malaysia because I think Indian are much more uh, uh, Indian are obviously a, a British uh, rural country so as same goes with Malaysia we are we are colonized by English yes we are colonized uh, and we are Commonwealth so we uh, tend to use petrol or fuel but in uh, Indonesia. Uh, their local, their local, uh, their local word for petrol is bensin, which is far different. Why? Because they are colonized by uh, by the uh, by the Dutch. Uh, so most of their 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 words are borrowed from Dutch. So that's why here I I am guessing if you say petrol or say fuel, I think same goes with uh, back in Malaysia. We just say petrol fuel, uh, nothing more, nothing less. It's just the same. We borrow from English, but. In, if you say uh, petrol, I want to EC petrol. Uh, we, so we say if you want to review, uh, say EC. Uh, so if you want to EC, say uh, with the Indonesian, we want to get the petrol, they, they cannot understand. Petrol, what? What petrol? Uh, I know petrol car. Uh, that's all you know. But if you say benzene, they will be understand. Because if you go, try to go, uh, try to search on, on, on Dutch, translate from English to Dutch. The English word, uh, the, their translation for uh, for petrol is benzene, Z. But in but in, in uh, Indonesia they use ben s i n. Uh, so that's our same same different. Uh, but other than that, our our way of our talk, way of our face. Uh, also we also uh, Malaysian also uh, kind of like uh, uh, following Indonesian. Uh, stars and also the integration also follow our stars so uh, that stuff we want okay uh, when I do uh, research uh, on Indians Indian language I just realized that you guys have taught including English you guys have 23 different language uh, uh, where I know I just opened uh, Wikipedia uh, last night so uh, I know I, I know some 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 of language because uh, in Malaysia we got uh, we got Indian uh, uh, we got Indian uh, but our Indian are much more Tamil so here I think Tamil is much more southern uh, part of uh, speaking language uh, which is also I think uh, southern part there's Kerala language and also Malayam some uh, also Nepali also yeah and Nepali I think not Nepali much more extent so yeah. And then if we if we go to no uh, if we go I to, I, I know uh, uh, India India is uh, geography right now so I'm learning I'm, 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 please uh, please quote me don't don't quote me but please let me know if I'm wrong but this is what I learned so uh, much more on uh, not eastern west uh, no yeah west area uh, north uh, much more Hindi. And then uh, Urdu also does uh, uh, does I, I I cannot I cannot say Pakistani because you, you guys have very 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 bad in Pakistan so uh, I can say much more uh, 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 yeah I sound like Pakistani I I I I I I not Indian I'm Indian so I maybe, maybe I should say. So, sound like Pakistani, but I think the correct here uh, more on the uh, the uh, yeah 
what's the what's the place yang uh, you say that punya yang the, the place you want to go dekat sepadan sepadan ah uh, kashmir kashmiri correct so kashmiri is sound like pakistani correct is it ah uh, so i'm correct yeah <laughs> okay so like i said probably people in people speaking in tamil i mean I'm guessing you guys must know Hindi uh, and also your Punjab know Hindi because I think Hindi generally Indian because your 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 uh, country uh, what is it called your constitution is in English so you must know English that's one thing clear English must know and then second one is Hindi I think I, I, if I go to anywhere elsewhere in Nepal, even I go to Nepal Uh, Nepal, uh, they can kind of like get Hindi word, so acha, yeah, yeah, acha, okay, acha. Uh, so yeah, so I think Hindi is kind of like common ground in here. But other than that, like if Kerala people going to uh, uh, speaking Tamil, completely different. So I uh, that's what I learned from uh, my colleague uh, for the past I don't know ten uh, years or. For my whole life, I think. So, uh, that's that's kind of like uh, I I can say a barrier for us technology to uh, technologists. So we call it we, let us call technologists because we are doing technology. Okay. So for us technologists, if we want to spread like uh, how to do, to use computer or how to let uh, locals over there to to be uh, more much more IT literate. It can kind of get hard because the language, the language that you are teaching in Hindi is not is different from what they are doing uh, back in South. Same with same with us. When in Malay, even we want to learn uh, uh, village people to use computer, we want to use, uh, we want to teach mouse. They thought it's mouse running around, so they want they, they kind of huh ah, mouse no 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 uh, so. That's how we tend to make it uh, localized. That's why. That's why. That's why. That's why the word localized come from. So we try to localize the IT. So that's how we uh, basically uh, uh, try to uh, influence. I, I don't. I, I don't. I, I don't like the word influence. But we want to push uh, for at least for us technologists to localize. Uh, Your mother, mother tongue. I I don't know what, what your your mother tongue, but probably uh, some of guys, your some some of you guys uh, talking in Punjabi. Uh, probably you want to make it Punjabi style of Ubuntu. Why don't? Why don't? Why don't? And also you can let your uh, friend friend in Punjabi that didn't understand English to use computer. Maybe they yeah some some can understand. You can click okay. You know your answer cancel, but you don't understand what what is what is system. Uh, what is CPU? What is monitor or something like that? Okay, so uh, my talk is more on hands-on. So I think uh, this is the part where I hands-on, not rubbing. So let's let me uh, show you. Let let me show you the world. Okay. Oh, it's too small. Okay, so is it is it big enough? You can read. You guys can read it. Okay, acha. Okay, so uh, I want to introduce you guys to Launchpad. So basically, Launchpad is our uh, gateway for. Uh, for the community to get involved in Ubuntu project. So basically, in, in uh, basically in in any project in Ubuntu, we are based over here. So either is you want to uh, send uh, upgrade, update, or uh, improvement on the system, you can submit to uh, here. If you got bugs issue, like you you press here, but something as uh, something as What supposed not 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 supposed to do? It's doing that, or you do something and then the system crash. You want to report to the developer. This is the this is the the, the gateway, and also 
As you can see here, there's a translation side. Uh, this is what I'm focusing on. So, to do translation in Ubuntu, it's easy. Create uh, an account at uh, launchpad, l a u n c p a d dot net. Okay. So, alright. Mm. Good internet. So, here is the launchpad uh, uh, homepage. So, what you, you guys need to do first, create an account, launchpad, so you can just log in it. And then, uh, we will focusing on the Ubuntu uh, launchpad page. So, you can just launchpad.net slash Ubuntu. Gosh. So, here, I just want to go to the translation site. Oops. So let me try to get it loaded. Okay, so as you can see, this is the oh yeah, sorry, sorry for uh, because I'm uh, I'm 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 put uh, my option language which is the English and also the Malay, uh, so you can see so see, so you can see the option because it will tie to your account. So for example, if you you put your account languages. Uh, English and then you put second for example uh, Tamil or, and then Hindi something like that it will show you the language that uh, that uh, meet your criteria unless if you don't put it it will show you like this oh sorry yep. see oh sorry okay so it will show you like this uh, so this is the languages that in Ubuntu uh, so as you can see uh, if I try to search for Hindi I think Hindi yeah. so this is Hindi so yeah you can see so the green one is the one that have been translated and the red one have not okay so as you can see Indonesian Abang Indonesia uh, so if, uh, if Abang Indonesia heard about this oh no it's, it's busy talking don't mind so uh, as you can see Indonesia uh, they kind of like Half half, so half already translated and half is not. Uh, what else? Uh, what what else? Uh, you want to search? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, I, I, uh, because my local Indian uh, talking in Tamil, so M N O N O P Q R S T. Yeah, Tamil. See, Tamil only got not more than one wanted. Only one. I think one 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 six. Uh, from the total. Uh, translated so yeah so as you can see this is oh I don't know Tamil 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 and Tamil Sri Lanka is different uh, this is this is I just found out so you can see here alright so this is how this is how uh, you want to look for your languages uh, on how you want to translate it so what you what I can uh, what you are what you can do right now so let me refresh because I just to overwhelm with all the languages because I don't know other languages other than these two so for example this is Malay uh, this is uh, my, uh, my language which is not far from uh, Indonesia so we kind of like uh, try to pump up our actually it's based on your uh, region it does, does your region really need translation if yes translate it uh, that's what I'm always push if you think it's viable to push, push. Try to translate it slowly because this is not a day job. Roman, uh, Roman, uh, what is it? Not uh, yeah. Roman didn't build. Uh, uh, Roman didn't build by any. So brick by brick. Okay. So what you are need to do is choose your languages here over there. So for example, I'm Malay. I only know Malay. I. Uh, yeah, I know. I only. I my my mother tongue is Malay. So as you can see, this is all the translation within the Ubuntu. So because Ubuntu got uh, some uh, small architecture that they have. Uh, so not everything is uh, kind of like easy to translate. So they trying to. Uh, I don't say they trying to uh, try to make it smaller, but. I think based on like for example this is only for uh, for genome control center uh, translation this is for the control uh, the setting the, uh, the setting so if i can open uh, the genome control center so this is 
let me or oh, let me make it large so this is uh, part of the genome control center package so here if you want to start to do translation so as you can see there's a number one number two and number three here so this is the part of the translation that you want to do okay and then uh, within this point you can see uh, like let myself this uh, I have current belief so for example if your if the translation is uh, have, have already done it will, sh it will show the current uh, translation uh, like as you can see full access we uh, in Malay is capaian penuh so if you want to submit it for example uh, I look for something that not translated uh, last steady something that not translated so as you can see here there's no translated there's no translation yet so you can just do new translation so how to do it you just need to click here there's a radio button over there and then put your uh, translation down there so for example initial uh, initial state of the win uh, window I, I don't want to put it now because uh, my mind is kind of like uh, busy with uh, what I want to show and what I want to uh, translate so I don't want to put it now so try to put uh, uh, the, the, the correct translation but if you just sound like confused or you're not sure what are you uh, what the translation is you can just mark it over down here Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Three forty-five. Yeah, yeah. Okay, ten three forty-five. Okay. okay. So I've been cut again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, let me repeat. So, if your translation is not sure, for example, you want to translate this wording initial initial state, but you just kind of like, I'm not sure if this translation is correct or not. So you may tick box down here so this means someone will review the translation so probably not uh, obviously not obviously not your uncle uh, probably other people that accessing the server the, the system will uh, review the translation and he think that hmm it sounds okay so uh, just approve it uh, so that's uh, that's another another part sorry of what I want to share so uh, you may uh, uh, tick down here someone should review this translation so if uh, anyone that uh, have the right thinks this is okay then they can just approve it no worries so you can you can just do, do this all right so that's simply how to do translation in Ubuntu okay get it so I think that's all my talk but but there's more okay all right so for example I know the Indian internet are kind of like hey if you go to I, I mean uh, in Jaipur or in Delhi I, I, I guess it, the internet are kind of like I, I you can I can say snappy you click you click here it go up you click it go up but if you go to I don't know somewhere rural you click go sleep correct so you want to help the translation project but you just cannot do because like you if you realize what I show to you everything is is being done online so you need require you are requiring uh, internet connection if you don't you cannot do anything so but you still eager I want to translate I want to say it. I don't know. I'm 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 so I'm so Urdu uh, today. I want to talk in my in, in Urdu. I don't know. Uh, so you want to translate? You want to be localized? Uh, but you got internet. So there's a another option to do it offline. So how to do it in offline? If you can see on the top, uh, right left. So top left of the screen, there's a download translation part. See, so you can download the translation, and it will download in PO format. So what is PO format? Not PO. That's that's uh, uh, that one is a uh, 
uh, what is it called uh, Teletubbies You know Teletubbies? Tinky Winky, Deep Sea, Lala Po You know That's not the Po no, This is another Po Okay, so What Po I'm meaning What what the Po that I say So let me open my file Don't worry, I don't have anything inside here So here You can see uh, Because because I I, I just format this, this, this machine So that's why I don't worry Ha <laughs> ha Okay, so as you guys see, as you guys can see, this is the PO and uh, this is the PO file. Why I say PO file? PO file that I download that I downloaded uh, from the site. So this is one uh, for the ubiquity uh, for the uh, ubiquity Malaysia translation. So I once you already download it, actually if you download it, it will send link to your email. And then you click on your email, it will download the PO file. So once you already got PO file here, let's say PO file, how you want to open it? You can install PO edit. Uh, so let me show you. Uh, it can be run in Windows also. Don't worry if you are you still your 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 your, your heart it is Ubuntu, but your blade is Windows. No worries. So you can open it in, in Windows. So PO edit. I just open it for I just I uh, simply open uh, Google it for you. See? Okay, so this is PO edit, which is a uh, translator editor. Uh, it's free to download, don't worry. And it's available in Windows, Mac and Linux. So like I said, you want if you, if you want to if you want to do it in Windows, no problem. Uh, you can download it. Okay, so house PO edit looks like so I already installed in my system so uh, PO edit uh, okay so this is, is it yeah okay so this is PO edit application that I already installed in my yeah let me try to minimize this can you see all right so I think see okay so this is uh, the app, uh, software that I already uh, for your offline editor Okay, so let me uh, make a rewind back. So first, go to Launchpad uh, application you want to download. I think you can download whole. Oh no, you cannot. You cannot. You cannot uh, download the whole uh, Ubuntu system translation. But you can. You need to download uh, uh, each uh, tem each template. So as you can see, for example, you choose this Genome Remote Desktop. So I open on new tab, so much more easier to for me to show it. So if you open it, you will see there is download translation right here on top here. So let me see, show you. You see, so download here. So download, you will go to your email. You will send link to your email, and then from your email, you your, your there's a there's a link. Then you download it the PO edit. So the PO edit like I show like I show you, it's like this. Uh, there's there's must be PO. Uh, uh, file format dot po. Alright, so now we try to open the file. So click browse file, and then we look for translation. This is my this is the file that uh, I uh, that I downloaded before uh, previously. So once I open it, it will show like this. Uh, so uh, apologies for the uh, for the display because uh, I don't know how to scale it up. So yeah, so this is how you uh, wanna do uh, translation. Let, let me try to make it a bit lighter so that you guys can better see. I'm because the reason I use uh, dark uh, because because uh, the reason I use dark theme is because I'm a, I'm Batman. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So, sorry about that. So, this is much more, I think. Yeah, you can see. I, I think you can see right now, right? So, for example, here, this is the English side, and this is the translated side. And if you want to do translation, you just, for example, uh, I'm look for something that haven't been translated. So, for example, here. Uh, so, click. And then, there's a, uh, there's a fire. Oh, let me try open again because the theme is kind of like uh, funny. 
just want to give okay so as you can see it will be directly updated from here okay all right so once you already done uh, translation uh, so I, like i said this is offline you don't need internet uh, i can i i uh, i can just uh, put off my wi-fi right now and i can still do the edit no problem okay so this is offline offline way but how i want to submit it back to uh, launchpad we go back to the launchpad side as you can see there's an upload translation here okay so once you already done the translation here in po edit you save the file and then you can upload upload the translation that you have that you have done so click it and then it will say uh, okay so it say choose a file to upload you can simply click it browse it and then look for the file and then upload it simply as that uh, well, that that's mean you want to uh, because you you want you get you go, you go back to your hometown you got nothing to do translate and then go back to city you got internet you can upload it simply as that right okay so that's how you want to do translation in Ubuntu in in, in Ubuntu okay clear <laughs> but there's more. <laughs> there's more <laughs> okay this is just a short uh, short thing that I want to share uh, I think uh, our, our um, I think Isaac already know these stories uh, uh, back in early this year uh, there's a situation where we had some uh, trans some offensive translation in the installer I can't remember with uh, which, uh, which language uh, that happened but there's an issue uh, happened uh, so it's happening in I think in, in the install in installer uh, side of the application. Uh, let me try to open the announcement for a while. So, oh by the way, uh, once you uh, I think because you already if you registered uh, with uh, Ubuntu One, if you want to create account uh, in Launchpad, it, you will create Ubuntu One account. So Ubuntu One you can use it uh, in this course. So this is. Uh, have you heard about forum forum for, forum site like that so nowadays we don't use forum we use discourse so discourse is much more like uh, gen z like ui so let me let me just uh, bring it up and show it to you so it's just more or less uh, uh, like forum here you can see oh yeah here so this is the topic and then down here the commenter uh, people who like the post people who share it see it's just like no more or less like forum but it's much more interactive so yeah so you can follow you, you I, I i guess i think you can follow anything uh, uh, anything regarding ubuntu from this course so this course.ubuntu.com okay so it's take a while to upload so i don't yeah here so i think uh, you can you guys i i don't want you guys read here because uh, it takes time while but uh, long story short there's a uh, update built for Ubuntu uh, for Ubuntu Baji uh, that have uh, some offensive word uh, so this is as you can see the affected is one is Ubuntu 23 uh, 23.10 uh, if, if you heard about the stories uh, try to google it uh, if, uh, if you want to read uh, more so the translation team has divided the uh, translation part uh, in another pro in another uh, project which is in the weblet uh, site so this is actually kind of like same same translation but on different side so if you translate if you are doing translation in uh, launchpad it will mirror to a uh, weblet uh, site so don't you worry but if you want to make it the installer are much more faster to load uh, in your languages then you can uh, go through to the component here so as you can see here this is the sum of the important uh, part of the translation uh, I don't know how to 
uh, share the link but you can just go to uh, you just can google uh, Ubuntu translation web lead web lead uh, web lead web lete so it will go to this translation site uh, then you can see this is the translation site uh, component that already been translated approve and unfinished word uh, unfinished character so on so on here okay so same goes like what i show you on launchpad over here you go to the language tab up there okay so you can search your languages that you want to translate so for example here uh, we search, search for hindi is there hindi yeah hindi there so it's uh, already 28 percent translated so try to make it 100 okay so if you click here hindi take a while okay so yeah this is the component or that that already been translated oh only only this two part so you can just uh, go to this uh, uh, this up uh, this uh, component click firmware updater and then ah not that long so yeah there's all string unfinished string yada yeah, yada see and then you can just click it here so here is the translation that you can submit it so this is uh wait let me show you better okay so this is the english word let me okay so this is you just focus on this top side uh, only this top side only so this is the translation this is the english uh english word so this is your translated uh boxes you can fill it and then you just save and continue uh, and then you can just go uh do translation uh, as well like for example if you want to go next translation you can just simply uh press the next button up there so next uh, it will load another english so you see warning some device updates may only be available i don't know i don't know in hindi you guys know uh, you can just translate it and then yeah you happy with, with with the translation you can save and continue and will it will jump to the next uh, translation uh, so on so on so on okay and then same goes uh, same goes with uh, which okay so same goes with uh, in uh, launchpad you can go to each component you want to download it uh, you want to download uh, the translation for example uh, there's no hindi in here so for example if you want to uh, to do it uh, because I, I uh, be, because it's already been monitored securely you need to ask the uh, the uh, con uh, not, not controller the maintainer to request uh to edit the file or to add the language so you can for example here if i click um uh, the language for example if i where's the internet okay so if i go to language i go to for example arabic here all right so here as you can see if i click on ubiquity here oh 100 percent okay so around here you can uh just uh, download it browse translate okay where's the stream ah, i cannot find it let me try to okay so here download translation up here the file okay same same uh same step is it will download po ed, po file and you can just open your po edit and then just do editing and then once already done back to this uh weblet uh site you can go file and upload translation that's simple okay so i think basically that's all about uh the uh the translation uh the how to on translation so uh i've just only got 10 minutes to go let me finish my slide 
uh, where is it the button okay so let me try to finish my slide where is the slide where is the slide Okay, so way forward to do translation is I can say it's very hard because you are not translating uh, 10 word or 100 word, maybe 1000 words. So, like, I, like, like you can see, there's 5,500 some modules, there's 1000. You cannot, you can find this very overwhelming. So I, I I really suggest to you to uh, like what we do in Malaysia we do a uh, 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 translation we call it translation party so when we do meet up we just do translation so each one, uh, maybe we team up we uh, we do team of two uh, each one will be translating uh, one component uh, probably for one. Uh, 45 minutes or an hour up to you want to do and try not to do it in silo uh, I mean don't do it by yourself because sometimes this guy already translated but this guy also do, uh, do, do translation and then both of you uh, submit the translation and then kind of like not sure which one uh, the system want to choose sometimes you update here but when and uh, 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 when this guy update the same things and it's not compatible or maybe uh, the, uh, then it's not sure which one is the correct one then the maintainer uh, that's what I that's why I say the maintainer have to do the part so uh, try to engage a team and then have someone to monitor what I mean by monitor someone who do maintenance on the word so for, for example uh, you know this guy is doing this session so make sure this guy uh, do for example 1 to 10 and then 11 to 20 this guy do it so you try to uh, what what what's the word uh, try to assign uh, don't do cowboy style uh, I, we, I, call, I, I, I in Malaysia we call it cowboy cowboy style you just do it don't care so do kind of like hack uh, I you can uh, you, I can say it's like hack fast uh, style you can do any uh, not don't just don't sit down like what I show you it's not supposedly to do uh, sitting uh, sitting on the floor you can do uh, sideways or you can do uh, do uh, on the bed I don't know uh, uh, maybe your slumber party you can do it uh, before sleep I don't know so that's what uh, make uh, the community in open source is really really different from other communities uh, because basically uh, for example the for example the translation site as you can see I can say most of the translation are not being paid uh, not are not are, pay, uh, are not paid it's, it's it's a community effort someone who feel free to do it they submit it so yeah community is the i can say community is the, the diamond in open source community so try to i uh, i don't know you can do engagement you can maybe uh meet uh, like i said uh i i've always said i i've always say this uh all the time uh technology is not for only for technologies not for only, only for it it geeks you can even some somebody who do uh, languages but they want to do translation they can do it if you want to do uh, artwork you want to do change the icon you can submit it that's the beauty of open source so yeah i can say people people pe the people the community is the real diamond in open source world so to end this i know I, i'm talking too much and uh, I, uh, I'm talking to far, uh, I'm, I'm starting to stutter so I want to end this misery I want to uh, actually I want to share uh, the guy in the middle uh, this is uh, I can say my sifu lah uh, I said no lah this guy 
So this is uh, the one that teach me uh, what is true open source. And he leave me the, this three mantra. So what the mantra is? Information is free. You have to know. But, but people are not. You have to pay. Still, contributor are priceless. You have to be. Thank you. Okay, uh, any question? Before, yeah, I got two minutes. Any question? Well, uh, basically it's based on module. So, mo ah. you want to finish it? Boleh je. Uh, so, it's basically on module. So, it's not, uh, for example, there's a, there's a module name, uh, there's a game, uh, like Minesweeper. So, if you are transferring from Minesweeper, it will affect on that application only. Uh, so, if you want to do system-wide, so you have to choose which module that uh, identify. I think, uh, I think, uh, Ajay, Jack, supposedly Ubuntu has some uh, list of uh, important part, kan? Yang